Hindus. This is I want to talk, you know. <laughs> these Hindus, man, these cows piss drinkers, these Hindus, man, <laughs> these cows, cows piss drinkers, the cows, you know, dung eaters. Now these people are telling to Jews that we will come and fight against Hamas. We will come to fight. Oh, you poor, docile cow worshippers. Listen to me very carefully. Jews didn't even spare their own prophets. You think that they are with you? They don't even count you anywhere in the history. You are idol worshippers. <laughs> and you think that, and you know, this the guy, the spokesman, he said that, India, you know, offered us and we tell them we're going to fight ourselves. We don't need your help. These people licking the boots of these Jews, they are licking the boots, the nation of rape. They are licking the boots of these Jews. Oh, you know, we will come to rescue. I say, just focus in your own country, India, the biggest democratic country and the most rape nation on planet <laughs> where the women are not safe. Every person is a, is, a, is a juggler, is a dancer, is a singer, is a marasi, is a chuda, chamar. Every person in that nation is only dance, you know, nothing else. Promiscuity, this uh, premarital sex, marital sex, relations, love, all their fantasy world, they're living in that area. And there's Bollywood. All this Bollywood under the umbrella of Bollywood, this, this, this nation is telling <laughs> to those Palestinians, the specter of a war for 70 years, they are they are the tough people on planet, and they're telling them that oh, we will come and fix you. You Jews, I mean, trust me, I couldn't stop laughing. Jews, Jews will Jews will use you, not even use you. You're not even worth to be used by the Jews. Mera yahal boot ki to chaatta hu main, aur inka ye kahan mere faraj pe na ring. You Hindus. Don't, don't even think about the Jews will even take you anything advantage from you. You are nothing in front of them. You see, you are the cow worshippers and nothing is beyond, you know. I mean, it's an insult to my intellect even to discuss the relationship with these two. But they are, they want to be. Oh, our Jews, please, let us be with you. We will fight against, we will help you. We will become your ally. You see, let me tell these Hindus. You see, fear from that day when the Muslim will be awakened. We are asleep. Just be afraid. I'm telling you of that day when the Muslim will wake up. The awakenings. Then, you know, نکل کر سہرا سے جس نے روم کی سلطنت کو الٹ دیا تھا ہم نے سنا ہے ان قدسیوں سے کہ وہ شیر اب پھر ہوشیار ہوگا This is gonna happen very soon Why are you calling your trouble? You need to focus on your own land You Indians, you democratic jugglers Focus on your own land You don't even have a basic decency You know how you treat people in your country, people are dying on the road, you start making videos. You can't even dare to help. You kill people. You are the mob lynch. You know, you are the gangsters. And you're talking about, you know, helping those people. We're going to help Jews. Jews don't need you. They don't want to use you. They, you are not even worth to be used by the Jews. You know that? Living in your own comfort zone, fantasy world in the haze. So, focus on your dancing, focus on your raping, focus on your juggling, focus on your aerobatics, you know, gymnastics, and focus on your IT, inverted comma, Silicon Valley. Focus on that and drink the piss of a cow and eat the dung of a cow. This is the best you can do. Don't think beyond that. Because you're, say, you are nothing in compared to the world, same like the Jews, on and on. Now, why they both are one, one another? You know, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu says, All Kufar is one nation against you, always. You see, Jews 
Abraham accord they want to make extension extension that okay this 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 land is our so we make the greater Israel congratulations on the other hand India has been changed to Bharat and this is what Dr. Israr Ahmad Rahimullah said it the dream of Ashoka Mahabharat the great Indian Empire this is the Indus Valley and this is what they are thinking give us the part of Sindh we will not give you the chunk of Kashmir so same mentality you are dealing they are not letting it go the occupied territories they are not letting it go the Kashmir territories can't you see <laughs> they are the same birds you know the flock they are flying together what they think that they need you for or for us so they are on the same flock I said the time will come prophet says that the stone will cry and the time will come prophet says and before the Isa ibn Maryam's ascension that you will drag the king of India under the chains Ghazwai Hind and you will conquer that India in completeness and inshallah that thing will come very soon I said, what do you have? What do you have to tell us? What do you have to tell us? I'm telling, I'm asking these, you know, Hindus. What do you have to preach to the world? Accept your Bollywood and accept your mob lynching and killing people. That's all. That's all you have. Nothing else you can show to the world. And then show in your movies, glamouring, how good India is. You know, how tolerant India is. You know. People are not stupid. People are not morons. You know, people know what you're doing. Maybe you're good in, you know, things, uh, manipulating, deceiving to the people. Some people get fooled by you, mesmerizing, tantalizing, but people are not stupid. They know what you're doing and what plans you are having against Pakistan. Inshallah, Pakistan will survive. And Pakistan will be always the bone in kebab, always the bone in the meat for Jews to swallow. That's why Qaid Azam, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, he refused Ben Gurion. He said, go away, we will not accept Israel. And he said that we will always bother you, India in between, and East India, West India, West Pakistan, East Pakistan, you know what happened later on. They were planned this. You know, Pakistan is the only Islamic country, Alhamdulillah, I'm proud of it, that we are nuclear state. They want to put, you know, jeopardize. They want to put our nuclear into jeopardy so they can do whatever they want. May Allah, you know, always keep us secure because Surah Anfal said, chapter 8, Allah says, always be stern and ready with the full equipment and the weapons against the enemy. Prophet said the best weapon is the weapon of the enemy's weapon you use against him or her. You see, pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Pakistan sustain in the same power of nuclear you see, this is the need. Otherwise, these people, they will snatch you. And, and this is the biggest problem Israel had with Pakistan from, the, from its birth. Both were created on the same notion. Jews, Holy Land, religious inclination, orientation, connotations. Same applies to Pakistan. Ka matlab kya? La ilaha illallah, objective resolution. Nothing must be done to the repugnant of the Holy Quran and Sunnah. Nothing must be done to the repugnant, near to this likeness, will not be accepted in Pakistan. How would you accept that? Huh? How would you stomach that? The objective resolution is very clear in Pakistan, Alhamdulillah. But you know, unfortunately, we have some loopholes. Nobody follows that. But concrete foundation, rock foundation, the foundation of the statement of the verdict of your identity is there. You cannot eradicate that. And this is inshallah Pakistan, I hope will become something great for the people of Palestinian and all those Muslims who are suffering. You see, world knows what you are doing, but you see people become blind and on and on, this sickness goes on and on.